more of a challenge for me. See how many you can ride, how many points you guys can get. See if you can ride the better ones or the bad ones. Whether you can ride or whether you can't. You know, I mean, you know, I've never been on him. Never paid much attention to him. Try and find out if you can do what he wants you to. You can keep up with him. On money or the rush? <laughs> Both. Both. The Madison County Fair, noon and 90 degrees. Joe Wetzke dragged Carla and the kids into town at 2 this morning. It's the fourth rodeo in four days. His $50 entry fee just bought some bad news. Joe's going to ride a bull he knows nothing about. It's just this 21 block. The guy that rode ahead of him last night bucked off, so it might be fun. <laughs> Joe's got two hours to learn everything he can about Black 21. Bob, who's 21 Black? Ten years of bull riding doesn't do much good if the animal crazy between your knees is a stranger. It's got to be a little more bothersome than not knowing anything about it. I am straight. I am straight. Well, well, bareback right there, they are Sounds good. I am straight. So just jump straight out and jump high in the air. Jump and kick. The cowboys you compete against are your best spies. Everybody on the circuit knows Joe. A cowboy's all he's ever wanted to be and all he's ever been. Joe's ridden through two wives, a half dozen broken ribs, a couple hundred bruises, and a thousand horror stories. Couldn't get the saddle run in front of him. She ran over the saddle horse and stepped on him here. Broke his neck. Is that all right? Jeez. He gets carried away. So what makes a good cowboy then? <laughs> what makes a good cowboy? I don't really know what makes a good cowboy. Guys that'll quit, you know, they'll get on a tough one and it's it's got him psyched out. He, he just, you know, he knows he's tough and he's more afraid of the animal. Did you get nervous about that? Start to. <laughs> In the shoots, a dozen other cowboys pretend they aren't nervous either. Joe is still asking questions about the bull. He said he just went out to jump hunt. You can tell by the uh, by the way they ride, you know, if they got some try in them. Black 21 now has a name, Mr. T, and a reputation. Hard riding, high stepping. When you watch their heads, you know, if they turn this way, you, you got to, you know, lean into them or throw your arm down, you know, bring your body weight over. For the judges, a cowboy must look better than the bull or make the bull look better than it really is. You can kind of tell if maybe he's going to turn that way. Some of them, you just, you just don't. You just sit there. Hope you can, you know, follow him. Well, you got to stop thinking. Joe has only a rope handle, a pair of spurs, and eight seconds to prove how good he is. I will say there's fear in riding one, but you might get bunged up once or twice, but maybe more now. The bull is a surprise, making a series of turns that shake Joe up, but not off. Thank you, thank you. He earns points enough for second place and the rush that comes with every ride. Jesus, yes. At one time I thought, holy hell. The thrill doesn't last. Joe sits back to watch three other cowboys ride better and score higher. He slips to fifth place with no second chance. His pride has hurt more than anything else, barely earning enough to pay back his entry fee. Joe isn't feeling much like a hero today. And he must still make it to another rodeo by sundown, 200 miles away.